Welcome back to my playthrough of Endless Legend with the Wild Walkers. I'm your host, Zilif. Let me just quickly go for all of my cities. So remember what I was up to. Those who bluntly refuse to accept reality, Ahak and his followers are twisting the words in philosophical knots, trying to find some explanation for the things the patrols have discovered. The facts are clear. We are not alone, and we were not the first. One day, their disagreements could turn violent. Truth seeker Genoa is not the only one who warns you of this. From these other peoples, you have heard other tales and new histories. Many of these myths and legends contain the seeds of a similar story, a story that ends in tragedy. And the farther you go, and the further you study, the grimmer and the more perplexing the truth becomes. In one way, Hag and the Sokwa are right. Your people remain small and weak compared to the vastness of Orika. Your empire must be secured and your armies developed. No great construction can take place unless your realm is secure. Sharing, while dangerous, gives you a great advantage when scouting. It is time to exploit that advantage. Alright. Tier 3 armor. That's a good tech to get. Um, but it's an annoying requirement, so I'll either have to get the increase to the army size, or I'll have to find a ranged minor faction unit, so I can do it with just four units. it up, we'll see. No. I think this one's better though, still.
I suppose I'll keep building more rangers to sell and as soon as I have one or two heroes as governors I'll start building units for the faction quest. three units strong. They also have a good bonus. And with three villages in this region, and at least one here, it's already a 20% science bonus in total. That's really not something to laugh at. them, I'm not so sure. 
want to attempt that. So those are very expensive. I think that's a good order. I'm undecided. Locked up all my titanium in this queue. First, and uh, just spam ranges. It's sixty four industry, and I get a hundred twenty dust for selling them. I wouldn't recommend doing this with units that use strategic resources because other players can buy the units you sell. Though I don't know if AIs actually do that. some food. 
kitchen at the Those are some sad haunts. Well. It's a very annoying time for it to be winter. So, units don't give influence, that's important to note. Was that my last air attack? No, two more. I'll get armors from the quest. Okay, it's Trade routes, resources, seems fine. I wonder if that's a haunt army or a purple AI army.
Lovely. Rotten clams. Oh goody. Want bad tail. Just arbitrarily mark it on me. Hello, what are you doing in my region? to risk them taking a second hit. Power plus power of the high ground plus forest. Yeah. Very high chance to not take damage. I'm interested how much the military power will drop at the start of the next turn when it updates. Of course, I'm selling a unit as well. as well, right? How many tiles? Just those two, I think. aren't actually accurate. Oh, another Wild Walker hero, but... This one's good as an army leader. No 
food or industry capacities though. Probably here in the capital. struggling with approval. <laughs> Don't want to expand anymore unless I get a source of approval which I might get either from the marketplace by just buying wine at least for the short term or by building lots of buildings and using the influence for the tier 2 I forgot what it was. Empire expansion plan for the 25 happiness. But if I'm planning to declare war on purple, I don't need to build settlers because I couldn't support the disapproval from doing expansion and conquering at the same time. Oh, here we level up. Heroes get very expensive quickly. Oh, we are very close to this one. I'm excited. units and we'll be ready to start producing units for our actual army. I suppose I could uncover the last resource in the home region and explore that ruin 
I kind of have the opportunity now. Didn't need to explore much more and I want to keep my hero close. Here really. How many forest tiles? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I never know with city tiles if they actually still count as forests. I suppose I could get those industry and improving things first and then the other stuff will be quick as well. How much? Nope. No chance. Deficit is increasing. Well, if you build a lot of stuff, it's what you should expect. All right, maybe it is worth it. No, I need two of those and. Two wine snakes for the quest, and I'll use those for a conquest as well. Actually, let me update the wine snakes first. And too bad, heroes didn't update. Well, I still think that this one is just so good in forest. Then you have the building cost, building cost production, decrease, and the plus percent industry. Well, this one's not that amazing, but saving dust is always good. Like, even this one is useful. It's quite rare to have a faction skill tree that's universally good. Of course, I need to buy it first. <laughs> I'm being silly. Mm, let me actually check which city I want him in. Yes, this one has more potential. Wanted to grow quicker. So even though he's suboptimal because he only has army attack boost free and no governor capacities, the faction skills are just too good. Well, in forest. Otherwise, I'd probably go with um, cultist governors. Maybe. Or maybe, um, I think Arden Mages are the one with bonus signs on anomalies. I forget, I'd have to look it up. So in this city, with I think four anomalies, and the fifth one here, that's good science. Alright. What I wanted to do was upgrade wine snakes. Oh. 
those little touches are funny, how they can't wear helmets. First unit where I've seen that. Of course, their stick is the circle attack, so on them it's worth it to get the movement. The initiative is quite low though. So you want to keep them out of range probably. And then move in and sweep attack everything. Maybe I'll add those as well to them for more kiting action. When I have dust available, it's fine, but right now um, can't quite afford it. Alright, let's queue those wine snakes up. Soon. Let's see how we stand up against a serious AI. Thanks for watching. Bye.